Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to set up commands for Apex, RP, stats, maps, crafting, and more. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. I'm remaking this video today because the way you make the commands has changed quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. I had a video covering it but all the Apex commands are a little bit different and it's a lot easier now to get started. All we're going to need to do is jump over to the website tsg.gg. This is where we can make all the commands and I'm just going to jump over there now. Okay, once it loads up, it's going to load you into the dashboard and it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitch. I suggest logging in with your Twitch. It's going to make setting up the commands very easy. So all we're going to do is click the login. It might ask you to verify it if it's your first time. I've already have an account made for this here as I use this here command quite a bit in my chat. Once you connect your Twitch, it will show Twitch channel and it'll have your channel. But the one thing it won't have is a game account. So over here under where it says add channel, there's going to be add account and you're going to have to click add. Now this is going to bring up a notice that's going to say if you're adding a PC account, you must use the EA origin username and the Steam username is, n is not unique. So you can't use it. You have to use your EA origin username. It'll give you instructions. If you play on Steam, use the EA origin account you linked when the first time you played. So it'll just be your EA account. It's pretty easy. All you'll have to do is figure that out. And then select it and type in your user's name. This has to be your Apex username, origin username. And then click look up account and it'll have a button to click and add it. After that's all done, the last step is to get and add the commands. For this, we're going to click on the account commands right here. When the page first loads up, it's going to have your chatbot and it's going to have a drop down menu and your language preferred. So you'll be able to pick different languages as well. So it's not just English based, but in the chatbot, it's a drop down menu. This is going to have Nightbot stream elements, uh, Phantom bot, Foss bot, Moo bot, and custom other. We're just going to use stream elements bot for this here example. When it's selected, it's going to change all these here down through here so that they're for your username and Twitch account. This will auto generate them for stream elements. If you click Nightbot, it'll auto generate the command for Nightbot. So it'll use the correct stuff to input the custom API. In here, there is two tabs. There's general commands and game account related commands. All you'll need to do is just go through these and add the ones that you want. I always add the first three. That's the map, crafter, and the, the server stats. So if someone's asking if the servers are down, you can just type it in and it will tell you if the servers are lagging on whatever or tell you if they're up or down or like if they're down for maintenance, it will say that. I can't guarantee it's going to be correct every single time, but I super like the crafter and the maps. So if you forget what's in the crafter and you're looking for something on the ground, you can type crafter in or maps in to see the next map in the rotation. It's an easy way for chat to interact. Okay, now over here in the game account related commands, in here there's a drop down. You're going to have to, your first time, go down and select your game account account so that it'll change all the commands to be for your game account. Now you can take a look through these here first commands. It's going to have a couple like your player stats, your rank, and your kills. But over on the left hand side there's a select a section and this here will give you a couple more things. It's general, season related, and rank progression. The one I want the most is the season related. This here is going to be the one that's going to give your start session, your RP, your recap, and session kills. I use the recap, RP, and session start. That's all I use from this list. I do not use the session kills. That If you're tracking your kills and you're going for like kill leader or something this might be one you want but I don't end up adding that one and then the rank progression the battle this one here is just going to be like the next rank first I don't use these ones here but like I said they're here they're on the left side menu you can pick whatever ones you want you can add them all but you don't need to add them all so definitely keep that in mind these here you do not have to add them all you can add just the ones you use so if you're only using like RP and recap like I am those are the only ones I added so I don't have to have it whole bunch of extra commands. These are just commands that you can use and just pick and choose the ones that you want. To add these here commands to your chat, all you'll have to do is copy paste them. So for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to the session start. I'm gonna copy this one here. And this is all we're gonna have to do is copy paste it. And I'm gonna go here to my Twitch. All right, in the chat, I'm still gonna have to type in command add and then type in session start. So just like it is right here, you can copy paste this here if you want to. If you want to use them all like that, you can just type them in. Then you're not ma then you're not making a spelling mistake or anything like that there. So you can just copy paste the whole thing. It's right here. And then all you have to do is copy paste it. Make sure you use the command add. If you're a mod, this is how you would add it. Or if you're an owner. If the owner doesn't have mod uh, with the privilege to use commands or commands turned on in stream elements, a mod won't be able to add this. So the owner will have to add it. And you can also add it in stream elements dashboard as well. 
So after we add it in here, it'll say that I have successfully added the command. Now I'm gonna just run the command just to make sure that it's working. Okay, it said it manually started the session. Now next time I check my RP, if I play any rank, it'll give me an update on how much I gained. In Stream Elements dashboard, if you're gonna add it this way and not in chat, you can just go down to the chat bot, chat commands, over to custom commands, and add a new command. It's the same thing. All you'll have to do is paste in the name and then go back over to here and just copy this here. And you can put it for everybody, subscribers, regular VIPs, moderators, super mods, or broadcaster. So you can set the permission level here as well. And then all you have to do is click activate command. But where I already have this here command, I can't do that. So it'll just say that I already have the command in here. This is how you add it in stream elements if you would rather do that. But that's it. All you'll have to do is just copy paste the commands in your chat and add the ones that you want. But that's really all there is to it. Look through and add the ones that you want and you're done. Hope you enjoy the Apex commands in your chat. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.